learning. Keep watching! I am here again and again, and for today's video, I am going to show you my chosen instructional materials according to its category or types. Without further ado, let's go! So in printed and duplicated instructional materials, I have choose the assignment worksheet. So, the materials I use in this instructional materials are bond papers and printing machine. This kind of instructional materials can be used when students need some assessment about what they have learned from the lesson. After a discussion, the teacher can integrate this kind of instructional materials. This can also help students to recall and sort learning from previous discussions. So, it is a big help to measure how capable the students when it comes to mind activation upon the process of li listening the discussion. So, this is why this kind of instructional materials is very useful in the classroom. So, let's proceed to the next type of instructional materials which is the non-projected instructional materials. So, I have choose this kind of instructional materials. A uh, flashcard. I use this kind of instructional materials for the non-projected instructional materials. Um, the materials I use to be able to come up with this output are hard papers, printed topics, and some plastic tape. This kind of instructional materials can be used in any kind of environment, most frequently in rural areas with no access of internet, and students cannot acquire books due to its price so this is the best instructional materials for them and uh, teachers can use this kind of instructional materials during oral recitation or recalling the previous topics it is easy to carry everywhere so it is effective instructional materials because students can already do independent learning by just using this flashcard so there this can be a basis for their learning so let's proceed to the next instructional materials, which is the still projected instructional materials. Um, in still projected instructional materials, I have choose the PowerPoint presentation. Um, I only use gadget like laptop in this kind of instructional materials. So we are already in 21st century, wherein technology evolved. The interest of students uh, focus on some gadgets and to be able to implement effective learning it is an advantage to use this kind of instructional materials the interest and the curiosity of students will be focused in this it is also useful in implementation of distance learning wherein students can access instructional materials using internet um, it is like faster and less time consuming so I mean the pandemic, the way of education change. We use online classes for learning. Um, it is an example uh, situation on where we are going to use this kind of instructional materials, which is the PowerPoint presentation in teaching. Making PowerPoint and share it by your students via email, they can already do independent learning. So this is how useful instructional materials um, for PowerPoint presentation should be consider considered in making instructional materials because it is useful most frequently nowadays. So now I am going to show you all my instructional materials according to its type. So in printed and duplicated instructional materials, this the worksheet. Then in my like non-projected instructional materials, some flashcards and in my still projected instructional materials is the PowerPoint presentation so so these are my chosen instructional materials which are the worksheet the flashcard in the PowerPoint presentation I hope you learned something for today's video thank you for watching God bless and keep safe